Okay, seriously, I'm not buying another blue snowball mic. I'm on my second one, and it, it just, it won't work. I won't, this one I've had way shorter than I had my first one. The first one was like this nice black, like slightly upgraded version one. And I just bought the basic white, white one when that one went out. And the white one, you know, it's 50 bucks or whatever. So I was like, oh yeah, it's pretty cheap, but it'll last me a little while. Hasn't lasted me two months. And it's, I click record and all of a sudden I try to speak into it. It's a bunch of static. But anyways, off my rant, back to using my iPhone. Hopefully the audio's de decent, passable. So we're back on Emerald and Watson. This whole video is just me trying to take down Watson. Because with my in-game trades challenge, I currently have Skitty, Volbeat, and Dots, you know, which is currently a Nuzleaf. And... Magneton is the bane of my existence. Because Magneton has the steel type in addition to its electric type that it originally started with in Gen 1, it is just a pain because you either need a fire type move or I want to say, yeah, a ground type move and maybe th those two are super effective and Honestly, almost every other type of move is not very effective against the seal type. So you're just, you're kind of screwed there. And of course, all of my Pokemon exclusively have grass type moves, rock, dark, normal type moves. And that's about it. And you will see Volbeat, I'm going to have to level it up because I, I just can't win. And Volbeat being a bug type thankfully learns a decent bug type move which if you watch any other or heard me in a, a previous rant bug type moves in gen 1 suck <laughs> so i am just very thankful for signal beam which has 75 attack power in gen 3 so dots again getting big experience points here because i was like okay only dots can take down the magneton but come to find out not dots is not the only one that can do it pretty decently for the setup we have for what we're dealing with and we get to the manetric but by this point my team is just on its last leg i've got fainted pokemon i got you know of course i'm just i'm paralyzed basically if you go up against watson just prepare to be paralyzed the entire time there's just no way around it you can use Paralyzed Heals or the Berry, but it's just not going to matter because all of those Pokemon know Thunder Wave or Spark is going to paralyze you. And you just just, just accept the fact that you're going to be paralyzed the whole battle and, you know, just cross your fingers and that your Pokemon won't be paralyzed when you try to use a move. And um, that's kind of what ends up working out for me. And these first two attempts are just so bad because either I'm paralyzed or I'm missing a uh, sing trying to put the Manectric or the Magneton to sleep. And for whatever reason, when I use sing on Magneton, it would just wake up so quickly. I don't know if that's like an... I think that might be an ability on certain Gen 3 Pokemon where they wake up faster after being put back to sleep. I don't know if Magneton has that particular ability, but he's whipping out Sonic Boom. Well, not he, because it's genderless, but Magneton's whipping out Sonic Boom, which does 20 damage every, like, no matter what. And in this early in the game, that really hurts you. It just does. Like, you, none of my Pokemon have at least 100 uh, health going into a battle. So, it, look at Volbeat. It has 67 health at level 22. That's why I had to beef up Volbeat to i got it up to 25 but it, it wasn't cutting it even though it did have signal beam and look at this i'm battling an Ill Illum illumize um I, i'm just kind of going through that real quickly but i was battling a level 13 Ill illumize and it kept using moonlight like crazy and it's doing it again right now and <laughs> level 23 volt we can't dig down 
uh, level 13 Illumise. That's so funny, but obviously so frustrating. So I just went to a different area where I didn't have to deal with the chance of encountering an Illumise. And the, this other area, which still was kind of a pain because I can get paralyzed, I can get poisoned, and I only had quick attack up to learning Signal Beam at level 25. So that was fun. So this this challenge, while it is frustrating, is is a challenge. And that's the whole goal here. So I'm gonna keep going with it. And I after Watson, I believe the fourth gym leader is leader Flannery, which is fire type, which oh my gosh. Dots is gonna get wrecked, Volbeat's gonna get wrecked. I'll have Skitty. I'll keep skitty with rollout because that might just save me although if you have like for example like new mel like fire type and ground type if flannery has one of those um i think rock type uh will only do normal damage against a fire and ground type pokemon unless new mel is only ground type but i think it's fire and ground type uh, I'll, I'll look it up later but yeah this level 22 magneton is taking all the beating so signal beam does you see it does maybe a fifth worth of damage and i'm paralyzed i can't move I'm trying to use signal beam but of course electric type pokemon have fast speed so shockwave comes in before i can get off another move not that i was going to take down the magneton but my goal there was just to get the magneton down to enough health for my skitty or my dots to come in and just finish it off to hopefully set me up well for Manectric, but now my Volbeat's a level 28, and instead of being self-destructed by the Voltorb, I can use Signal Beam and take it out in one shot. And the other good thing is Signal Beam also one-shots Electric, which is nice. You know, being eight levels higher, you would you would hope that a at least a 75 attack power move would do so. And of course, our problems return to us as Magneton comes out. But instead, this battle, I was like, you know what? Let me send out Skitty because I know if Skitty can get some consecutive rollouts going, after Sing puts it to sleep on the first try, I was like, okay, th this might be the this might be the the try right here. This might be the attempt. And Sonic Boom misses. Which I was like, okay, and you see rollout go way back. That was like the fifth rollout. It wrecks that Magneton finally. And Skitty, I was like, you know what? Go one more time for rollout. But, you know, as I expected, rollout only uh, does a maximum of five turns in a row with increasing power. Then you have to reselect rollout or use another move. Sing misses, but I was like, you know what? We got past the Magneton. We still have a full health dots. And we have, um, you know, Skitty kind of hanging on. But I was just like, can Skitty just do a little bit of damage? And then um, to get us going. But Skitty hangs on with one health. Sing misses again. Which I was like, I, I guess I can't ask for too much. My luck's already going pretty well. And of course, Thief just does... It will not steal Manectric Citrus Berry. I just would exclusively spam Thief, but nope. It was like, eh, no, nah, we don't feel like stealing the Citrus Berry. Let's just have Manectric use it, and Manectric's raising its attack. So his quick attack is just going to be crazy powerful just after two howls. So I have my full Volbeat because I took down one shot of both the Electric and the um, Boltorb. Of course I get paralyzed. Of course Signal Beam just barely doesn't take down the Manectric, but I'm like, you know what? This is the battle. I I have to get this or else, I mean, I'm not that I'm gonna stop playing, but I'm just gonna take a break. Thankfully, even after the Super Potion, I will take down this Manectric. I'm still paralyzed, but Signal Beam is, is basically the turning factor in my attempts going up against Watson. I. Honestly, I did not think Watson would be so much of a, you know, pain in the in the butt. But finally, this last signal beam with me having 13 health takes it down. I defeat Watson, and I thought Brawly was hard. Watson's way harder. 
Flannery's going to be tough. So we'll see what happens. But I, once I get to uh, Fortree City with um, the flying type gym, is that the fifth gym or the sixth gym? I can't remember. But once I get to that city, I'll be able to trade this Volbeat for a Pluso. So I'll gain an electric type Pokemon on my team. So I think that's really going to help me out. Because just having a bug top on your team in any gen, really, in my opinion, just is just trash. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you back in uh, part five or part six.